My name is Dr. Ricky Badua. I'm the director of bands here at Cal Poly Pomona University. I oversee all wind brass percussion uh, students and part-time faculty. I also teach our two bands here, the Symphonic Wind Ensemble and the Concert Band, as well as our beginning and instrumental conducting and a few music education courses. Go. Last spring, the director of bands, uh, Annie McMahon, at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo contacted me about being a part of this festival. And I said, of course, uh, the American Bandmasters Association and the Japanese Bandmasters Association are both very uh, prestigious organizations in the world of bands. It's a nice moment, it's a moment so we hang on, but we have Wednesday, our last run of it, and then Thursday the concert. Nice work on that, come along, really good job. To be a part of this is quite an honor because it will be a festival of some of the best wind bands around the country and from Japan. And we're just really excited since this is one of our big first performances on such a large stage. I'm just excited to like see how the tour you know plays out because I did help plan it and I'm really excited to show like other schools that Cal Poly has a really good music program. It's really exciting that the Wind Ensemble is going on tour. I've been in the group for three years and the beginning we were just doing it with a, a part-time director so nothing serious we were just meeting and all of a sudden we're going on tour. The kids are going to have a good time, and I can't wait for a performance in San Luis Obispo. The thing that I'm most excited about on this tour, besides the performance, which I'm really ecstatic, is just the social aspect of being on tour with people. Everyone's so busy and we're all so different. Um, it's hard to get us all in one place at one time without making it a call time or a performance or rehearsal. So just being stuck on a bus together for two days straight is going to be an exciting opportunity just to get to know everyone on a deeper level. It's a very exciting time for the band program. Uh, we built it from one big concert band of about 80 players to now we have two bands, a Symphonic Wind Ensemble and a concert band. And basically the Symphonic Wind Ensemble is uh, provided for our most accomplished music majors and non-music majors. And our concert band is open to more of the campus community. Uh, students that may not major in music but just want to play, perform, and still continue on uh, being a musician. Part of this tour is that they'll be exposed to some really phenomenal bands such as the U.S. Army Field Band, which is one of the best bands in the country next to the U.S. President's own. Uh, this is the hall we're going to be playing in tomorrow evening and we're here tonight actually enjoying the U.S. Army Field Band. Uh, this hall is amazing. It's better than any hall I've been in. I mean, you can see behind me just the size of it, the, just kind of the scope of what we're, we're in for tomorrow. It's going to be incredible. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Especially, I've never been so proud to play you before. I can't really put it into words, you know, just performing at a hall uh, at this level. I'm looking forward to performing in the hall tomorrow. This is a really nice venue and it looks like it's going to be a fun place to play. Cal Poly, I was a little hesitant with um, everybody. I had no idea who anybody was, but as soon as I joined Wind Ensemble, everybody was so open to me. They were so friendly, and we just became one big family. What I enjoy most about being part of the Wind Ensemble would have to be the music itself. There's nothing boring. It's never the same. It's always different.
I chose the program based off of the audience that would be there for this conference. It's American Bandmasters, Japanese Bandmasters Association. So I wanted to do a program called Americana featuring just different styles and collages of American music. So there's elements of jazz, bebop, rock, uh, blues, even uh, American Revolution songs as well. I wish I could say all of them were my favorite songs. My absolute favorite has to be Only Light by Dr. Perrine. Not just because we get to meet him and we got the Skype call and everything. That was exciting to really meet with a live composer and talk about his music and his work and he's gonna be there to watch it. But um, just hearing the backstory of it, it's, it's very touching. It's supposed to symbolize hope and healing and, you know, just going through tough times, dealing with all that stuff to be put into music rather than words. It was just so much more beautiful that way. On behalf of Cal Poly Pomona, uh, we're very, very happy to be here. Um, a history in the making, and we hope to further our relationship with our sister school, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. It's been a great time being here. On uh, behalf of Cal Poly Pomona, thank you, and I look forward to collaborating in the future. I got a lot of a lot of good feedback from the students. Uh, the directors are really impressed. I mean, they're like, "Wow, a new idea with Pomona," and I think we did an awesome job. We are in Solvang, just shopping, enjoying the uh, nice little town. I think it means a lot. To, for Win Ensemble to be a part of this event because it, it definitely shows that we at Cal Poly Pomona we're, we're getting better and better each year and, and the fact that we got to perform at such a, an amazing venue is really cool. I've grown closer to everyone in the Win Ensemble and so it's really fun to play my instrument that I love with my friends. I definitely thought it brought a lot of people closer together, people who didn't really talk to other people. So I think it was a good experience for the Cal Poly Wind Ensemble. I think it's very important for me, music making is about community and relationships. And as a conductor, I find myself being a synergist of all these elements that students bring. You know, every student has a particular personality, quirk, or if you will, that works well together. And these tours and events off campus help unify and identify what they are and how they work well as a unit. And that just makes the music making even better and more sincere and more genuine. The reaction from a performance at ABA was, was just impressed. And I think what we did for them was say, yeah, we're here, we're alive, and we're really making some awesome music, and we'd love to be a part of this community as well. And so every year, I love to take us to an event um, to let California know that this is a really destination point uh, for music and, and students that want to um, love making music and learning. From here, we're just going to head home back to Cal Poly Pomona and recoup. Yeah.